Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Supercard. I'm your host Aaron Mitchell and today we have got Road to Glory Day 2. As you can see I'm rocking my new Dolph Ziggler top. So we get the King Ring in a short while, but yeah I'll do that after this Money in the Bank bout. As you can see again, ever so closer to the second um, Money in the Bank Charlotte card. 8k I believe, away. Yeah, ne nearly 8k away from getting Charlotte, which will be great for my deck. We'll, yeah, we'll take um, Tyler of Sitch Kinak from Ura. <laughs> Using a full Samsung Pro deck from an air bank. It's actually quite cool as well because, like, obviously, they had the base stats and that with the cards. You can kind of like compare cards to like, see what are better, like. I think it might be Apollo Crews and Tyler got the exact same stats. Rusev's got the exact same stats as Randy Orton, etc. etc. It's quite cool that aspect of it. And then other things as well. PCC, it looks like that is gone. I'm not sure if it's gone for good or not. But I saw something on Twitter yesterday with someone posting a like a state Facebook status so like Whatever, but basically, it, in the like, status or whatever it was, it said basically about PCC not being an event that's being brought over, but it does not show the name of the person who sent it. So, I'm not sure if it was Supercard who sent that or if it was just like someone be, trying to be funny or not and pretend they're Supercard. So, yeah. But I am. I know a lot of people now. Even, even some who've got the first shark card, they got doing when they were in hard under elite tier. I know like quite a lot of people are saving up now for the next cycle. But with me, I've been. I thought about the long term benefits of getting a shark card. So like, let's go to my females now. My females at the moment in my deck, like after the Jack, is Ultimate Shark, Mine Bank, Ultimate Naya. Harden Pro Shard and a SummerSlam event Pro Sasha Banks. So I thought the long term benefits like cause usually it's the females which hold people back from getting up to the new tiers. Every most of the time it's been like you need four male pros. Well the equivalent to four male pros. For example like elite ones and then one elite female pro and then one single. Like one either elite single or like a hardened pro to get into ultimate tier. So I thought the long term benefits. So then like if I was to get like to bring out the new tier and I was to get three pros, three ultimate pros, then I only need one ultimate pro with season three now that might be enough to um go up to the new tier. So give me I just thought of the potential long term benefits because obviously Shark would be my best card, a female card for a while. So I thought as uh, she's going to be my best card for quite some time, I may as well go for the pro. So, King Ring, we'll get to now. We're going to win it. 3 1 here, currently 38 and 3. All three losses have come whilst I've been sleeping. And over the next, the last three games are against fairly tough opponents, but uh, I should be able to beat them. Obviously, as you could probably have direct my record, I've beaten them in the, uh, all the other, the past two games. So, I'm going to. Top 38 and 3, 38 wins, 3 losses, and Jeff Hardy's second, 35 and 6. Then Catastrophic, 3rd, 29 and 12. Lalena, 28. Lol, 20, his 4th, 27 and 14. Then Jeremy's run behind, 26 15. 1 behind him, then his Mark, 25 and 16. Then 2 behind him, is Ryan, 23 18. And then 1 behind him, is Cardinal, 22 wins, 19 losses. And then the rest of these guys now have no chance. Of getting into the brackets, we've got the Desnes, Ghostface, 15 kill, Janine, 88, King Justice, Pariah, C Bam, James M, and Spartan HD. So, yeah, and I'm virtually guaranteed top spot as well, so that's great. So, but I got to King Rings, and unpredictable now, you could finish 8th and still win. So, I'm currently doing really well as well on RTG, currently 125 of 180 on Samoa Joe. Still got my training deck in. How much he he's not got too much more to do. 
Dear Shio, uh, I'll take out my. I'll take them with my deck. At least. I'm, actually, I'm elite. I didn't even realize I was elite for King of Rings. Oh, yeah, I'm on my tier now, aren't I? Stupid me. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to keep them for in, though, because Reigns is a hard and pro, and I could potentially either pull Elite Codas or Seamus or get from this King of the Ring. Obviously, like hard and pros ain't so much beneficial to me, but with Reigns, it's a top tier hard and pro, so I'm going to max him out. Because he will be in my deck for a fair bit. So, yeah. But I agree with me as well, but I don't not too bothered about getting losses as long as I win the overall game. Like where I'm getting closer to getting Joan obviously if I keep the Harden females unleveled up in, then I will struggle in that department because I'll start facing like some some pros, harden singles, etc etc. And I say I come up against two some some singles. But it's like not the point if you know what I mean. So I'll take them out now, and like what's three losses? It's nothing. Three potential losses. It's nothing major. But then five. That's a bit of a risk. So yeah. Here we go. And on my second account, I may have said on camera yesterday I was Andrew games away, so I'm playing RTG as much as I misread like the games played in that, and it turns out I got just under one k games left to play for my next ladder so I'm playing RTG now I'm gonna try and get at least the um some slam undertaker maybe even this um hardened Samoa jokes it's a, he's a top tier card and I could potentially pull him at any time and harden pros are beneficial there. So yeah yeah very spoke said about even get being lucky with his King of Ring rewards. But yeah also guys go and check out everyone um, who, whose links are in the description? I probably, there are probably a lot more people who, who I was supposed to include, but me being a stupid idiot, I probably forgot to include them. So if I have forgotten them, if I have forgotten any of you guys, then <coughs> let me know down below and I will add your links to my description and let people know next video. Same one, just go there. 10 2. So we're still wearing. Winning fairly comfortable. So, yeah, I fell asleep with t um, 10 points left to go and take a bed, a tight the match. I could have stayed up and just got taken for going to bed, but that's fucked. Oh, I can't be asleep for 10 minutes, so I just fell asleep. So, yeah. But I'm still doing very well, fairly well. I probably won't get Carl Anson. I know that was my aim, but obviously, my deck, I'll have to plus one forever on it. So. I have to sit out and wait till my deck improves more elite pros, more ultimate cards, maybe in in the near future some ultimate pros from like my ladder rods slowly coming up. Maybe I get an ultimate Baron Corbin or something good from that. So yeah. And I think I think I'm better. I may as well get Sasha in as soon as possible as well to get her done as quick and play with um matches with her whilst I have the chance because sooner or later she's not going to get into my decks anymore which is kind of annoying because um, Sash Banks PCC some some tier was my best ever PCC performance I'd never gone into the top 1k before and I got into like the top 300 400 in the PCC which I'm really really happy with I know like the likes of Renato and Irfan have gone into like the top 100 but I weren't exactly known for PCC. Like I know I, in season one I did get the Ray back and Page, and I did get the like leg Nikki. I, I think in season in WrestleMania the only PCC card I got is well he was my favorite at the time, but currently now he's been tipped down to he's been put down to second by Baron Corbin, which was Dolph Ziggler. I didn't get the Samoa Joe, which I should have done because obviously at the time it was the only left arrow event card and then I should have gone to Sasha Banks as well but again I didn't but I did get the Becky Lynch card obviously as you know and uh, Nia Jax posted that helped me out getting into some of the when that came out and again I think Sasha Banks was the only PCC card 
in Sim 17, which I did get positive. I got Finn Balor, single from Addy. I got Owens, I got Cena, I got Jericho. Yeah, I believe, and I got Sasha. I think, yeah, I think Sasha was the only one. Originally as well, up until the, like a couple of hours before I went to bed Wednesday, Wednesday night on that PCC, I remember I was not going to play on the PCC, but then I thought, do you know what? It's a title picture, it's Sasha Banks, it's a boss. I got Alexa Bliss, crap the tag, I'll go for it. So I went for it, and then I did a King of Ring, King of Ring then later that week. Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss, and two other sometime pros, level zero, and I annihilated everyone in that King Ring. 51, I know. I don't know what I got for my troubles. Do you, do you know what? I'd been overjoyed with like a rock, and today got Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, like one of the top tier guys. But do you know what? I know I made a pro, but still not the point. I got some sort made in English. Do what happened in my previous King Favorite King Rings? Um, the King Ring prior where I got some some card, I lost in the finals, claimed in the morning, and I got an Alexa Bliss, which made a pro. So you know, Alexa Bliss is my favorite female. Um, you and Ember a joint. My, uh, my joint favourite females at the moment. So, I got Express overjoyed and the one before that. Where well, I won it as well. I got eight in English. So, I can, as you can probably imagine, I was pretty annoyed at that. Two King Ring wins, two eight in English is, and I lose the King Ring final and I get Alexa Bliss. Talking about Alexa Bliss, there she is. Known about Alexa Bliss as well. When I proed up my shard, I think it was on the Wednesday. I did a tough, tough decision, but obviously, but it wouldn't, it didn't, wouldn't fit my, any my, in any of my decks anymore. So I did decide to train up my shot with the Alexa Bliss card. But I ain't, like I ain't got no other Alexa Bliss cards in my collection, like that I haven't got rid of, as I got the hardened Alexa Bliss, and I really want to get the ultimate Alexa Bliss because it's the Harley Quinn version of Alexa Bliss, which that. Was the point where Alexa became my female, my favorite female? No mercy. I think it was No Mercy was there or Backlash, but whichever one. Was, yeah, I think it was No Mercy. That was the time when she became my favorite female when she came out dressed like Harley Quinn. So yeah, it's quite a funny story that is. And then Baron Corbin as well. He's um slowly, slowly become my favorite in WWE. Um. He's improved. Are you serious? But as we were saying, Baron Corbin has improved tremendously over the past two or three months. Hence why he's become my favourite now. So, um, ranked, I'm still just about in there. I think if I swap TJ and sleep around my better um, ultimate cards, then I'd be a, bit, a little bit higher. Okay, bonus. I forgot to mention about these. Um, for five days, you get a legendary Stardust, which, if I'm correct, would have been a pro in my third account, but I got rid of him from correct. Then nine days, it's Mark Henry. If you wonder why it's up to twenty-five days, so I'll be fit. Oh, <coughs> I'm getting Madrina and Crocky. But as you, well, February, just twenty-eight days in, in a month. So obviously, they got to shorten it down to make it fair for people in case they're not able to log in. So that's just prob that's why probably in like nine days we yeah, had Survivor Mark Henry. Fourteen days I'm really happy that I'm getting this to my third account as resume and card is Triple H, one of the all time greats, one of my favourite of all time. We got number nine nineteen, it's big E, it's a single on all accounts for a well. And then day twenty five it's Dolph Ziggler. I'm really happy with this. Because as you can see, got the same shirt. I'm rocking that shirt, not the jacket though, obviously. But obviously, he's my f second favorite behind Corbin, so I'm happy to be getting him on my second and third account. I'm in account obviously as well. But one thing I've noticed as well for the third consecutive month, the Sam Slam and Harden card have been compatible. Like last month, it was who was it? It was Kobe. Yeah, Harden, Kobe, Sam Slam is. Month before, some some Enzo, Hard and Randy. So obviously, it's compatible with the team between the Hard and Cards and some some Cards there. 
So that's going to be it for today, guys. We'll be back again soon with another edition of WWE Supercard. I've been your host, Aaron Mitchell from Team Jang Lang, signing off. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. Check the guys whose links are in my description below. Peace out, guys.